Here's a new login screen. Um, you can see it's a little different. It's got a picture there on the right. I'm just going to log in. By the way, you have to make sure that pop-up blockers are turned off the same way you had to in the in the old user interface. But then on login, it loads this initial dashboard here, which has um, the alerts. These are controlled on a per user basis. Um, and you can determine sort of which alerts you want each user to have. The quick links, which is sort of links directly into whatever the most commonly used functions are. That's also set at the user level. And then this is a new function that the calendar. So you can flag or tag basically specific events in your calendar and then they'll show up um, when, when when you hover over the, the event, you get additional details about that event on hover. And then down below, and this is pretty consistent throughout the system, you have the ability to quickly get into what we call the scans or the views. So you can sort of jump around the system from customers to vendors to sales orders to purchase orders um, to quotes and kind of anywhere you need to go. You can, you can get anywhere else very quickly in the system. The main navigation has been altered quite a bit as well. So on the left-hand side, you have to see the primary modules, and then you sort of click on a module, and it expands out so you can see additional details. Uh, you'll notice there's some different verbiage on some of the modules. The CRM used to be called pre-order processing, and you now have opportunities, sourcing, and quotes. Those were inquiries, offers, and quotes in, in the previous version. Um, very similar functionality, just the entry of these things has been sped up quite a bit. So there's no more sub menus. You're just going directly into the view here for this is opportunities. You can sort of view a list of all the existing opportunities, who's managing them when the requests came in. Then you can click, click into one, you get the details about that. Um, and that's pretty similar to the way it was in, in the previous one. Um, one thing that's different too on the order entry side is if you go into orders and let's say we want to look at sales orders here, for example, um, I have a list of existing sales orders. I'm just going to sort this by date. And let's say I want to drill down into one of these. Let me do a more recent one. So let's say I want to drill down into one of these. So now I can do everything related to a sales order all from this one screen. So I'm managing the details of the order uploading documents, I can actually view the sales order document as it's being created here. Um, you can export that, shoots it out to either Excel or PDF, depending on your settings. Um, and then you can email out from there. You can also click into any other sales orders right from here. So if you're managing this order, you realize it's not the one you want to be working on, we can just click into a different order right from here. And then it brings you directly into that order. So you're no more, you're no longer flipping in and out of orders um, or in and out of submenus to get to different orders. So what we found in testing is that the order entry processing speed has been improved by by 100 percent.